Health Education Grade 7 Quarter 2, Week 1 Nutrition Dear God Thank you for this wonderful day you have given us. Thank you also for protecting our family from harmful viruses that surround us and for looking after us especially at this time of the pandemic. God, we all know that you are the source of all wisdom and truth. So as we begin our lesson for today, help us to open our minds that we may understand what we need to learn and learn what are the things that we need to know. Help us stay focused on our studies and encourage us when learning becomes difficult. Mold us as one of your perfect creations by guiding us in every step of our way. Amen. Expectations You will be able to make decisions in the choice of food to eat during the adolescence stage. Specifically, this module will help you to Identify the right food during the adolescence stage. Why do we eat? It supplies the energy needed to perform daily work. For the proper growth and repair of muscles and other organs in our body. For the regulation of chemical processes. And for the protection against dangerous diseases. Nutrition It is the science that deals with the process of taking in food and using it for growth, metabolism, and repair. Nutritionist it is a person who advises others on matters about food and nutrition, and their impacts on health. Nutrients Are chemical compounds in food that are essential to life and health, providing us with energy, building blocks for repair and growth and substances necessary to regulate chemical processes. Nutrients are divided into two categories. Number one macronutrients, are nutrients needed by the body in a larger amount because they provide energy. It is called energy providing nutrients. It includes carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Number two micronutrients, includes vitamins and minerals. These nutrients are needed by the body in smaller amounts for healthy growth and development and enable many chemical reactions to occur in the body. Fats are sources of energy and are also essential for body functions. It supports the absorption of vitamins and minerals. It cushions body organs. It promotes growth. It insulates the body as the temperature changes. There are two types of fats. The saturated fats and unsaturated fats. Dot saturated fats. These are fats found in meats and other dairy product. They tend to become solid in room temperature. Too much saturated fats can produce high level of cholesterol and can increase the risk of heart disease. Unsaturated fats. These are found mainly in fatty fish such as mackerel and salmon, vegetable oils such as sunflower, olive oil, corn, or canola, and avocado oil. Unlike saturated fats, unsaturated fats are liquid at a room temperature. Consuming unsaturated fats rather than saturated fats are the recommendation of the experts. Carbohydrates Are the starches and sugar that mainly provide the body with energy. Two kinds of carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates. And complex carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates. It gives the body energy very quickly. This can be found in dairy products, honey, fruits, and milk. Complex carbohydrates are found in starchy foods such as cereals, pasta, bread, beans, potatoes, cereals, and other starchy vegetables. Unlike simple carbohydrates, starchy food must be broken down into sugar before our body can use them. It provides our body with a constant supply of energy. Proteins are made up of amino acids. It is needed for growth and for building and repairing body tissues. The most important building blocks in our body. Vitamins are substances needed in small quantities that help regulate body functions. It helps the body to process other nutrients. It fights infection. 
vitamins are grouped into two. The water-soluble vitamins and the fat-soluble vitamins. Water-soluble vitamins. Vitamin C, sources are oranges, tomatoes, green leafy vegetables, guava, and other citric fruits. Functions, aids in bone, teeth, and skin formation and resistance to infection. Vitamin B complex, sources are meat, green leafy vegetables, dairy products, beans, peas, and other whole and fortified grains. Functions, helps the body to make energy from the food we eat, forms red blood cells, improves memory, enhances mood, boosts skin and hair health and stimulate immune system. Fat-soluble vitamins. Vitamin A, sources are dark green leafy vegetables, oranges and reddish yellow fruits, and vegetables, beef liver, fish oil, seafoods, egg and milk. Functions. Maintains normal vision, immune function, reproductive health, and promotes body and hair growth. Vitamin D. Sources are fish liver oil, mushroom, salmon, egg, and milk. Functions. Promotes strong bones and teeth. Fat-soluble vitamins. Vitamin E. Sources are vegetables, oil, seeds, and nuts. Functions. Act as antioxidants and ace in the maintenance of red blood cell. Vitamin K, sources are green leafed vegetables, and soy foods. Functions, helps blood clotting and supports bone health, reduces the risk of heart diseases and increases survival among liver cancer patient. Minerals. It helps in regulating the chemical reactions in the body. Potassium, sources are legumes, banana, milk, meats, fruits, and vegetables. Functions. Need for proper fluid balance, nerve transmission, and muscle contraction. Minerals Calcium, sources are milk, cheese, broccoli, legumes, and soy milk. Functions, helps to maintain strong bones and teeth, important in nerve and muscle functions and blood clotting. Magnesium, sources are legumes, green leafy vegetables, seafoods, nuts, and seed. Functions, found in bones. Needed for making proteins, nerve transmission, immune system health. Iron, sources are red meats, fish, shellfish, legumes, dark leafy vegetables, egg yolks, and dried fruits. Functions, helps energy metabolism, important for transporting oxygen in the bloodstream and prevents anemia. Minerals. Zinc, sources are whole grains, meat, fish, poultry, and vegetables. Functions, plays a role in immune functions, protein synthesis, and wound healing. Iodine, sources are seafoods, iodized salt, food grown in iodine-rich soil and dairy products. Functions, found in thyroid hormone which regulates growth and development and metabolism. Water, is the most important nutrients. It is needed for waste removal. It regulates the body temperature. Serve as cushion the spinal cords and joints. Remember. All living things need food in order to survive, grow, and develop. Nutrition is the science that deals with the process of taking in food and using IT for growth, metabolism, and repair. Nutrients are chemical compounds in food that are essential to life and health. Nutrients are divided into two categories, macronutrients and micronutrients. Macronutrients are the nutrients needed by the body in larger amounts because they provide the body with energy. It includes foods rich in carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. It is also called an energy-providing nutrient. Micronutrients include vitamins and minerals. These nutrients are needed by the body in smaller amounts for healthy growth and development and enable many chemical reactions to occur in the body. Water is the most common and most important fluid in our body. Thank you.